So why would anyone listen to false prophets? Why would anyone disregard a message from the Lord? The reason is that false prophets are sincere. These 400 prophets were not yelling, we are false prophets. No, they believed the message that they were delivering. Zedekiah even brings an object lesson, having made horns of iron in order to provide a visual of goring. We also know that they put pressure on one another to hold to the party line. The one who summoned Micaiah insisted that Micaiah join in with the same message, even if it was false. Micaiah refuses, but people love to be a part of a movement, and false prophecy can certainly stir the masses. If everyone is believing it, then it must be true. What remains but to fall in line and believe the popular message, even if it comes under pressure? This is the same way that the godless cultural message of today gains strength and support from the masses. False prophets also provide a false sense of hope. They provide a message that people want to hear, one that is believable, one that makes a person feel good. Micaiah was only interested in the word of the Lord because more than anything, that is what the people needed to hear. Even if it meant he had to go to prison, he would be faithful to the life-giving word of the Lord rather than the death that the falsehood of the 400 prophets who stood against him would bring. For those reasons, every culture has plenty of false prophets proclaiming a message that people want to hear. In the midst of such deception, then and now, there is good news. God has provided the message that he wants all of us to know, and it has been preserved for us in the Bible. A true prophet today will proclaim truth that is clearly founded on the truths of God's word.